Hi, my name's Gary and I'm a Solutions Architect at AWS. And in this video, I'm going to introduce to you a workshop that I've created to help customers understand how AWS IoT services work. In order to do that, the workshop steps you through building an IoT controlled robot based upon a Raspberry Pi. Everything I'm showing you in this video is included in the workshop and the workshop is publicly facing. The link is in the description of this video and you can also find it on workshops.aws if you just search for IoT and robot. So don't worry about following on in detail in this video. This video is really just designed to give you a high level overview of what's in the workshop. The workshop itself includes step-by-step -step instructions on how to build the robot and the IoT based components. It includes all the code you need for the robot. It includes even 3D print files. So if you want to print your own chassis, if you have access to a 3D printer, or you can use any chassis that you have available, as long as you can mount motors and a Raspberry Pi on it. And there's a full kit list for all the electronic components. What I'm going to do is walk you through the architecture of the robot, explain at eye level how it works. I'm going to give a demonstration of the robot in action so you get to see what the end result of the workshop is and i've also got a couple of time lapse videos to show me physically building the robot just to give an idea of how it all hangs together now the workshop's aimed at technical professionals who want to understand about aws iot but you can also use it as a general educational resource to help you start understanding some of the fundamentals of IoT so you can begin that journey in learning how IoT solutions work. Let's have a look at Workshop Studio where the actual workshop content lives. The link to this, as I've said, is in the description for this video, but you can also find it by going to workshops.aws and searching for IoT and robot. So when you come to the content, there's an introduction which just talks through some of the real basics of the workshop and then on the left hand side we've got the table of contents which takes you through in sequence a step-by-step -step guide on how to build the robot and the iot components so let's have a look at what you're actually going to build and this is the robot this one was built using the 3d printed chassis and as you can see, there's a Raspberry Pi camera on the front and some ultrasonic sensors. Now we also have a component down here. This is an optional component. It's a physical remote control that you can use to also control the robot, but you don't need it because you can do everything through the web application itself. I've included a physical remote control because it does help understand some of the things like device to device communication within IoT, but you don't need it to actually operate the robot. We have the web application. As I said, all the code for this is included within the workshop. And as you can see, we've got a video feed from the Raspberry Pi camera on the front. We've got a couple of joysticks in the middle that enable us to control the direction of the robot and the camera mounted on the front. And there's also a couple of things around computer vision, which you'll see in action in the demo. And then we also have the architecture. At a really high level, we have the physical Pi remote over here we have the robot components here and then sitting in the middle you have all of the aws components the iot components and then on the right hand side we've got the web application which you'll see in the demo which like the physical remote control can also be used to control the direction of the robot also take you through a couple of other key points within the workshop there's a number of diagrams which help understand how the 3D printed chassis hangs together if you go with the 3D printed chassis. And there's also detailed instructions, including photographs of how all of the electronic components also fit together. So you can look at this workshop content in your own time, follow it through step by step. It covers everything you need to build the robot. Okay, so let's look at the robot in action. As you can see on your screen on the bottom right, I've got a webcam pointing at the robot on the floor beside me. I'll wave my hand there so you can see it, that it's live. And in the background, I've got the web application that we use to control the robot. So let's start by logging on to our web application. Okay. In the main screen, what we've got is we've got a video stream which comes from the camera mounted on the front of the robot. 
we've got some robot control. So we've got a top joystick here, which enables us to control the movement of the robot. And then we've got a lower joystick, which enables us to control the movement of the camera. On the right hand side, there's a journey map, which will show us the journey of the robot as it moves around. And then in the bottom, we've got a couple of areas which can be used for computer vision. So when we turn on the video stream, we can look for objects and when it locates them, it will identify what it's found and the confidence level it has in what it's found. What we do is we first connect to our robot and this one's our gray robot. And now if I move this joystick, we should hopefully see the robot move forwards. There we go, it's moving forwards. And we'll move it backwards. And then we can also turn it to the left and turn it to the right. And as soon as we release the joystick, it should stop moving. Now what I'm gonna do is connect to the web stream from the camera on the front of the robot. And we should see that appear in this screen above us. And there we go, there is our video stream. Now if I move the robot, we should see the video stream also move. Now what we can do as we move our robot around, we can get it to look for certain objects. Now I'm, I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit because I know there's hopefully some things that that's a little bit too high that it will find. So now I'm gonna turn on the object detection and let's see what it finds. Now what we'll probably see is some bounding boxes appear. Here we go. So it's noticed a monitor, it thinks it's found a phone as well. And what it does here is on the right hand side, you can see some of this where it's identified what it's found and it's also identified the percentage of confidence that it has in what it's found. So that's just it feeding the pictures from the camera up into AWS or Amazon recognition and it's just doing some basic computer vision label detection. That gives you an idea of the basic controls of the robot and how we control those through the web application. It's all pretty straightforward. So now let's look at a time-lapse video of me building the bottom layer of the robot. Got all the parts laid out in front of me and what I'm gonna do first is screw in some nylon standoffs into the base of the chassis. I'm using nylon standoffs simply to secure the Raspberry Pi and the motor controllers to the chassis, but you can use any method you think appropriate. So there we have it. So four screwed in for the Raspberry Pi, and then I use nylon screws to screw the Raspberry Pi into those standoffs. All the holes are predefined within the uh, 3D print, so they're all in perfect place if you want to use standoffs. So once we've got the Raspberry Pi in place, we can put the two motor controllers on, one for the left, one for the right. I'm simply securing these again with nylon screws, just using two screws because they're not that heavy. They don't need to be secured that well. Once those are in place, I can put the motors on. I use M3 hex bolts to secure the motors in place. And then you thread the wires from the motor through to the motor control and you can wrap them around the chassis just to keep them neat and tidy and the connection should match perfectly the motor controllers in the parts list are matched up to the stepper motors that i've defined as well so once we've got that on we then have both the motors on and we can start to connect the motor controllers to the raspberry pi there's four connections for each of the motor controllers. Connections are defined in the workshop, so don't worry about trying to figure them out from the video. All the connections are easy to follow within the wiring diagrams. And then finally, we put the wheels on to the chassis. The th wheels are also 3D printed, so again, they're all available in the workshop assets. The two wires you can see hanging off at the moment, one of the going up to the top and one going out to the right, they're the power for the motor controls and that feeds up to a breadboard that goes onto the top layer. So I'm going to show how to build the top layer next and then you can see how to connect those up very easily. This isn't supposed to be an exhaustive guide to how to build, but hopefully it just gives a good idea of what goes into building the chassis. So lined up with the workshop content, that should just make it that little bit easier to follow. Now we'll take a look at how you build the top layer. 
of the chassis. The top layer is far simpler because all it does is it holds the breadboard and the camera mount. So it's a lot quicker to do the top layer. So let's just have a quick look at a video of me putting the main components on that. With the top layer and what I'm going to put on first is the camera mount. I'm simply using double sided foam tape, which is fine for connecting or securing the breadboard and the camera mount to the top layer of the chassis. The top layer of the chassis then connects to the bottom layer using screws that are part of the 3D print model. And once that top layer is on, you'll be able to see in a second how I then connect the motor controller power to the power rails on the breadboard. What I haven't shown here, but is very simple to follow in the workshop, is things like plugging in the power supply that takes USB power onto the breadboard to supply power to the motor. All that kind of stuff is very easy to follow from the workshop. But I wanted to just give you an idea of how easy it is to build the chassis. It's relatively straightforward putting all the components on. Everything should fit very, very neatly together. So the rest of it you can follow within the workshop. So we've had a look at the robot in action. You've seen me building it very quickly. And you've had a quick view of the architecture and the workshop content. Hopefully that's given you a good understanding of what the workshop is about. So please give the workshop a go and I hope you enjoy starting your journey into AWS IoT.